Well, hi there, and welcome to the Little Gym at Home lesson. Do you remember my name? That's right, I'm Miss Taryn, and I'm so excited to play with you today. So let's find out what we're gonna do, either in your backyard, at home, wherever you find yourself, we're gonna have some serious fun. So today's theme is, I'll give you a hint. What's this? That's right, it's a hug. Today's theme is hugs are healthy. And hugs aren't just something that we're supposed to do. They're actually really beneficial for your child and I'd say for us too as adults. So make sure to give those little hugs every single time that you can. I'm gonna challenge you to go up to 12 hugs today because you know the rule of hug, right? It's a pretty famous rule. The rule of hug is that, you know, if you have four hugs a day, that's for basic survival, okay? Eight hugs a day helps you maintain, but 12 hugs a day is the lucky number to really work on that child's growth. So let's try and reach it in this class today. And remember parents, hugs are a great way of building that self-esteem for your little one and a sense of security that no word really can. So let's give a big hug today. All right, I'm so excited to see what's next. So let's find out what we need for our hugs is healthy lesson. We're gonna need our basics, your ball, bubbles, also grab a musical instrument, and then our special feature today is going to be, you guessed it, kitchen utensils. These are, these are a hot item, you guys. Um, so find a kitchen utensil. You can also use um, our broom handle as well. So find something that we can grip today. And I'll give you a second to go run and get those items. You can pause me if you would like. And when you come back, I'll have a special guest for you. Hmm, and a little something too. I'm gonna grab something here too while you go get your stuff. That's right. I got my shaker with me and guess who else? Gymnastic, fantastic little bear. So let's start by singing a hello song. Come on, everyone, you can sing louder than me. Ready, one, two, three, say, oh, everyone, please shake, 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 and sing along with me. How do you do, everybody? How do you do? How do you do, everybody? How do you do? Oh, we come to gym for fun, and we'll get you on the run. How you do, everybody? How do you do? And a great big hip hip. Hooray! Hello everyone. Well, thank you so much for coming to class today. Couldn't be more excited. So let's find out who came to play during this lesson. <gasps> I see you there. I see you there with that big smile. Do you remember that, that sign? Yes, smile, very good. And our next sign is gonna be, can you give yourself a big hug? The sign for hug, there's a couple different varieties here that you can do, hug, or you can also Go in with your fist closed. So give yourself a big hug and let's get started. My name is Miss Taryn. We have little bear here and I wanna know your name and can you give yourself a big hug or anyone around you that's safe to give a big hug to? Go for it now and say your name. Oh, I'll say Miss Taryn and little bear. All right. Well, that was amazing everyone. Thanks for coming to class today and let's see what's next. All right, everybody, it's time to get warmed up today. Are you excited? If you're super excited, come closer, closer. Give me a big high five, fist bump, elbow, or a hug. And it's time to get warmed up. So remember, parents and friends, the activities that I present are totally optional. Do what's comfortable for you. If you have an overactive toddler who's running all over the place, let's channel that energy in a positive way. Try and do some of the skills. Remember. The luxury of the little gym at home is you can pause me anytime and come back to this activity as we want to create a positive experience. And remember, we're in an interesting time and we might be a little bit out of our routine, which is okay. But that might mean that we participate in activities and act a little bit different. And that's to be expected. So let's have some patience today. Um, our little one who might have jumped into every single activity might be holding back a little bit and just want to watch or just snuggle with you through the activities. And that's okay too. Again, our number one rule at the Little Gym is to be safe, participate at a pace that works for you, and let's work together to have a good experience and watch out for any running dogs during this warm up, okay? All right, here we go. Let's listen to the directive music. Let's relax and get comfortable with a nice, easy walk. Sounds good. So let's see if our older friends can walk by themselves independently. Younger ones might need a spot underneath the arms or in the upper torso. See if they can take their own steps. Take a nice easy walk. If we're feeling a little extra cuddly today, that's okay too. 
breeze. Now let's get moving with another locomotive <gasps> skill. What could it be? Running. Running. Hey kids, can you run with your mom or dad? On your mark. Get, get set. set. Go. Go. I want everybody to run. If we're not running just yet, you can hold them in the fireman carry. Remember, get them up high on your shoulder and let's go for one, two, three. Up, up, run. Maybe run backwards. Freeze! Our next locomotor skill is jumping, which some kids are still learning to do at this age. Your teacher might show you some different ways to jump to keep you challenged. Are you ready? Go! All right, first jump any way you can. That might be from one foot to the other or two feet at the same time. Parents, remember the best way to teach them is to show them. Bend those knees and jump. Great work. Try and jump and spin in a circle. Bend those knees and jump. Let's see what they do. See if they can pick those feet up. See if they can walk and jump. Woohoo! And one toss just for fun. Woo. Freeze! Now let's fly in two different ways. First, parents, pick up your child any way you'd like and lift them up and down and dip and dive and let them feel like they're flying through the air as we all move together in a circle. Woo! You can also try this way. Get creative, parents. Try something new. Woo! Make sure to check in with them. Maybe try and fly upside down. For our older students, see if you can spread your now arms. Now put your child down and let's all spread our wings and run around and fly through the air. That's parents, a great idea. Show them how it's done. So relax, relax and be all right, parents. Spread those wings. Let's get let's get moving. Let go, let it fly. She liked Freeze. It. Now let's review running, jumping, and flying. Shh. Hey kids, listen to the music. It will tell you what to do. Okay. Run. Turn those listening ears up. Let me see you run any way you can. Up and down the hall. In the grass. Don't forget parents to try that fireman carry. Spread your wings and fly. Relax when you are for you. Take a little time. Even this way. Woo! Let's get to know you. So relax. Wow! And be, and be She's flying to see you. Now jump. Let me see. Just relax. He jumps. Maybe even try it. Everyone, give yourself a round of applause. Great work, everybody. Let's clap one more time. Fantastic job getting warmed up and working on all those different fun locomotor skills. Whew, that was a workout for me too. All right, everyone, let's give ourselves a big hug. Great job, friends, on our warm up. And next up, it's time for our group activities. So we're gonna need our kitchen utensils, or you can use a broom. I'm gonna go with a broom for this one. Anything that's sturdy enough that your child can actually grip and you might be able to pull them up with. So let's start sweeping our kids around, shall we? All right, I'm gonna put the directive music on. Little Bear is gonna help me a little bit, but you're gonna have to use your imagination so we can make sure to encourage an environment of safety with these grip it challenges. And remember, we're working with 10 months all the way through three years. So we're all gonna be at a different uh, grip strength level. And that's okay to be exactly where you are at and we will meet you there. So let's do it together. 
Our first grip it activity is the kid skid. Have your child My favorite. lie on their back on the mat. They should be holding one stick up in the air with one hand at each end of the stick. Parents, stand at your child's head and grab their stick in the middle between their hands and pull them around on the mat, skidding and sliding on their back. Go! All right. Let's see you guys do that. The child holds the stick like this. Parents are going to grip in the middle and pull up. Try that kid skid. Make sure you're not holding on top of their hands. Let them grip it at a pace that works for them. Pull them gently or a little faster depending on their grip strength. Whoa, I see some amazing kid skids over there. Let's see if little Barry can do it. Freeze. Now make sure your child has two sticks to try these stick tapping challenges to the music. Tap your sticks together. There you go. Parents, you can guide them a little bit, but see if they can do it on their own. Tap your sticks on the floor. Tap them on the floor. Don't tap your nose. Hammer the nail. Oh, that's a tricky one. One stick down, what should we build today? Maybe a house? Try both hands. Well done. Now have your kids lie on their back again, holding just one stick as before. This time, stand at their feet as you grab their stick. With your help, see if they can pull themselves up to a sit, then to a stand, then maybe even pull them up into a little hang with their feet off the floor. Then, just for fun, trade places and see if your child can help pull you up. <laughs> Let's do it. Remember parents, try not to hold over their hands, hold in the middle and see if they can use their core muscles to sit up. Let me see. Can you grip it and pull? Maybe you can try and hold on to mine. Grip it and pull up. That's it, parents. Try and pull them a little bit off the ground. There you go. This is definitely a fun one. We'll be doing it all over your house. There you go. And if we're just sitting up, that's great too. Freeze. Make sure you now have two sticks for more tapping challenges. I got them. Kids. Tap one of your sticks on one of your mom's or dad's sticks. All right, let's sit next to each other. Try and tap our sticks together to the rhythm. Not only working on hand-eye coordination, but rhythm and musicality. Now can you tap both of your sticks on both of your mom's or dad's sticks. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sticks. If you have four sticks, tap them together. What crazy, here I'll get my magic broom. working. Have some fun, parents. Great tapping. Okay, one more time, kids. Please lie on your back. Here we go. With one stick holding on at the ends with both hands. Parents, help your child hold their stick up, then lift their feet to bring the soles of their feet to the stick between their hands. Ideally, their feet are pushing on the stick while their hands are pulling the stick. If you can, parents, grab the stick with your hands too and try to pull your child up maybe just one half inch off the mat into a soul hang. All right, everyone. So I'm not sure if you can see with little bear. Sticks over your head. And then see if you can lift him up a little bit. Don't lift him up too high. Good job, just a regular height, yeah. Make sure they feel challenged and successful. Good work with Griffith. That's it, try and get your feet on the broom too. Amazing. Please, please sing with me, here we go. It's time to put the sticks away, the sticks away. Sticks away, it's time to put the sticks away at the little gym. Great work with our group activity and our grip it challenges. 
I'm so proud of Little Bear and all of you out there who are trying your very best, especially you guys, two parents and grandparents and caregivers. Give me a high five. Don't forget to squeeze that hug in. I lost count already of how many we're at and let's see what's next. Thanks for joining us for our full body three. Next up, we're gonna do three exercises that really work on our theme, Hugs Are Healthy. What better way to start than with a partner log roll? So find a safe space in your house, go tummy to tummy with your child, have them face you as you roll over, pop up, locking those elbows and give them a big hug and a nice ta-da. Try and go both directions and see what they wanna to do too, if they can do it on their own. I'll give you one to two minutes to practice that activity and then come on back for the second one. All right, thanks so much for being here. Our second activity is awesome. It's called the swing around. So what we're gonna do is have your child stand in front of you, facing out or facing you, hook underneath their arms, and you're going to swing them around, lifting them up using force. Okay, remember, do what you're comfortable with. An extra workout, have them face you and swing around. Have some funs with swing around and we'll come back after you're finished for our third and final activity. Let's do it. Excellent, welcome back everyone. Our third and final activity is a really fun one to do together, but also great for our vestibular sense. So next up, we're gonna do helicopters. Yes, watch your hair on this one. Just like it sounds, they're gonna be the helicopter and they're going to be the propeller over your head as you spin around. If your child is a little bit bigger than that, closer to the age of two and a half or three, you can just pop them over your shoulder and do swing arounds as well. That's a great alternative. That's not going to hurt your head, your neck, or your back. So great job with helicopters, swing arounds, and hugging partner log rolls. Take a moment to do each one, and then we'll meet back here for balls and bubbles. Welcome back. It's time to play with the balls today. Let's do it. So for our first activity, you guessed it, we're just gonna roll the ball back and forth. It's the easiest way for the child to track the ball. So I'll place little Barry over here. I'll be on our mat and we're just gonna roll it to each other. Amazing if she would roll back. But go for it, try and roll back and forth. Sit in different positions. Try sitting in a tuck, a straddle, and roll it back and forth. Excellent work, everyone. So keep rolling the ball. Awesome. Now, can we roll it to each other on our tummies? So everybody get down and we're gonna get on our tummies and roll it back and forth. I think I could do this for hours. So feel free to pause me right here and roll those balls back and forth from our tummies. Great work, everyone. Okay, next up, we're gonna try something new with our ball today. We're gonna try and hike it. So this is definitely gonna be a win for our guys who are a little bit older than two trying to put the ball between you. Parents, you can model it for them. Put the ball on the ground and try and hike it behind you and see if they can chase it. Our older friends might be able to try this body position and our younger ones too might be able at least to do a downward dog and push the ball through their legs. Have some fun hiking the ball through. Finally, when you're through with that, let's finish with some kicks. Review those kicks kicking off from the top of our foot, the inside, and the outside. Great work, everyone. I'm so proud of you. Give yourselves a hand and a big hug for ball time. Okay, again, feel free to pause me if you wanna keep playing with the balls. I know it's the biggest hit of our little at home from the little gym lesson. Next up though, close behind are the bubbles. Do you have your poppers ready? Get your poppers out and we're gonna listen to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary Ooh. had a little bubble, a little bubble, a little Say pop. Mary had a Good word. Pop them with your fingers. Good work. That's it, everyone. Pop it with your fingers. Ooh, pop them on your knee. Good work. Can you pop them on your knee? That's 
hard. Parents blow them for our toddlers, for our younger ones on their knee. Good work, everyone. You're doing phenomenal. For our little ones, it might be a good idea to blow some bubbles on the floor. Good work. Pop, pop, pop those bubbles. everyone. Parents just blow them up high in the sky. Ooh, you hear that? The birds are popping them too. Good work everybody. All right, this is our last round. Say pop, pop, pop. Can you use your words? Pop, pop, pop. Let's try and hug a bubble. Can you hug them? Good work. Okay, last ones. Hug those bubbles. Great work, everyone. I'm so proud of you. You are amazing bubble poppers. Give me some double high fives, double fist bumps, or double elbows. Great job, parents, wherever you are. Let's give them a big hand. Great job with our lesson today. Let's see what's next. Wow, what a fantastic lesson today. Thank you so much for joining us. You are the best listeners and movers and huggers I've met yet. So give yourself one more big hug and let's get ready for our group song. Today we're gonna sing 10 Big Hugs. So sing along with me and we'll make it up as we go. One big, two big, three big hugs. Four big, five big, six big hugs. Seven big, eight big, nine big hugs. Ten big hugs for my little snuggle bugs. Yay! Get some hugs! Oh, fantastic, everyone. Thanks for singing along with me, maybe even louder than me. Now it's time for our pops. So our personal outside practice is simply to give each other some hugs, you know, or give yourself some hugs. Make sure that you're safe when doing this activity and be sure to have fun with it and be genuine. That's the biggest thing that we can do. So remember our rule of hug, 12 hugs a day keeps the doctor away. With that said, don't forget to practice your full body three. You can do our hugging partner log rolls or by, them, or by yourself. You can do our swing arounds, that was a lot of fun. And you can also do our helicopters. That's my personal favorite. So have some fun going upside down, hugging, and most of all, just sharing the excitement of play and learning, because that's always fun. So with that said, that's a wrap. Let's get our shaker or musical instrument out. I'll find mine and sing our goodbye song. I know you know it by now. Sing along with me. Ready? One, two, three, say, oh, everyone, please shake, 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 and sing along with me. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon, we'll see you soon. Bye bye everybody, we'll see you soon. Bye bye everybody, ready? Oh, bye bye everybody, bye bye everybody, bye bye everybody. It's time to go on home, bum bum. And a great big hip hip, hooray! Great work with our Hugs Are Healthy lesson today, and I can't wait to see you next time at the little gym at home.